Hello everyone. Today we are going to solve the NCRT questions of chapter number 7 from the new book of NCRT that is Curiosity. So let us start. Before solving the question answers, let, let's just quickly brush through the summary. So what we learnt in this chapter, the temperature of a body tells us how hot or how cold a body is. That is, it tells us about the degree of hotness or coldness of a body. Okay. The three most used scales of temperature are the Celsius scale, the Fahrenheit scale and the Kelvin scale. And how do we represent that degree? For Celsius scale, we say degree Celsius. For Fahrenheit scale, we say degree Fahrenheit. For Kelvin, it is denoted by the alphabet K. Okay. The SI unit for temperature is Kelvin. All right. And it is denoted by the symbol capital K. A clinical thermometer is used for measuring body temperature. All right. Normal temperature of a healthy human adult is 37 degrees Celsius or 98.6 degree Fahrenheit. The laboratory thermometers typically have a temperature range from minus 10 degree C to 110 degree C. So this is the summary for the chapter. Now let us quickly enter into the question answer section. So our first question is, the normal temperature of a human being is close to. So you see the options are 98.6 degrees Celsius, 37 degrees Celsius, 32 degrees Celsius, 27 degrees Celsius. So which one is the correct option? The correct option is 37 degree Celsius, right? And it is also same as 98 point six degree fahrenheit okay that is why this option is wrong because it is given in degree celsius all right so the correct option is option number b 37 degree celsius is the same temperature as 97.4 degree fahrenheit 97.6 degree fahrenheit 98.4 degree fahrenheit or 98.6 so we just discuss the answer will be 98.6 degree fahrenheit now coming to the next question question number three which is a fill in the blanks the hotness or coldness of a system is defined by its it is defined by its temperature I just told you temperature is the measure of degree of hotness or coldness of a body. Okay. The temperature of ice cold water cannot be measured by a. Now you cannot measure the temperature of ice cold water or boiling water with the help of a clinical thermometer. Because clinical thermometer is there for measuring the temperature of human body. Okay. So we cannot do it with the help of clinical thermometer. Thermometer is already written here. Number three, the unit of temperature is degree. So how do you represent the unit of temperature? Usually the commonly used unit is degree Celsius. Had this question be the SI unit of temperature, then the answer would be Kelvin. Okay, now coming to question number four. The range of a laboratory thermometer is usually, we just discussed that the range of a laboratory thermometer is minus 10 degree Celsius to 110 degree Celsius. Now coming to the fourth, fifth question. Four students used a laboratory thermometer to measure the temperature of water as shown in figure 7.6. You see, students are measuring. So the question is, who do you think followed the correct way of measuring the temperature? So, in our previous lecture, we saw an activity which showed us how to correctly measure the uh, temperature using a laboratory thermometer. So, which one is the answer? Which student is doing the correct measurement? The first one, second one, third one or fourth one? Come on, tell me the second one. All right, student one, we cannot use it tilted. It cannot be touching the bulb of the 
So a meter should not be touching the bottom. It should not be touching the glass jar. It should be properly, the bulb should be properly immersed and straight in the beaker containing the water. Alright, so the correct answer is student 2. This one. Alright, now coming to question number 6. Color to show the red column in uh, on the drawings of thermometer as per the temperature given below. Okay, so the first temperature is 14 degrees Celsius. So you have to mark 14 degrees Celsius. So what? which one is 14? It is starting with minus 10. This is 0. This is 10. So 11, 12, 13. So okay. So this is from 10 to 20. So here you have how many divisions? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 divisions and 20. So each division is how much can you calculate in this one? How much is each division? If there are total 5 number of divisions and the range is 10. Okay. So 10 upon 5. You get 2. That means each one is 2. So 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Like that. So this is 10. This is 12. This is 14. So this is your correct measurement. Alright. 14 degree Celsius. Okay. Now next one. 17 degree Celsius. So first let us find out how much each division is. So you see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, there are total 10 divisions and uh, the marking is from 0 to 10. That means 10 by 10. That means each division is equals to 1 degree. That means you have to mark 17. Then this is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So, this is the 17 degree Celsius. Alright, now coming to 7.5 degree Celsius. How would you mark 7.5 degree Celsius? First, you need to count the number of divisions. So, just start counting. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So, 20 divisions are there. How many divisions are there? 20 divisions and each one measures how much? 10. Each one measures how much? 10. So that means 0.5, right? So how will you calculate 7.5 in this case? So now let us calculate that. So each division is 0.5. That means if we take two division, it is equal to 1 degree Celsius, right? So you see, let us start because we have to find 7.5. Let us start from 0. So this, this big handle and this small one is equals to 1. Then 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 7.5. All right, same way it will continue 8, 9, 10. All right, got it? So, how we get it? Shall we do it once again so that you understand it properly? Let it make, let me make it a bit clearer to all of you. We start from here. So, the small handle, small line and the big line. This is 1, 2, 3, 4. 5, 6, 7 and coming to this small one 7.5. Alright, so this is 7.5 degree Celsius here it is. Okay, I hope you all have understood this one. So or every time if certain question comes to you, if this kind of question comes to you, you first need to find out how much one calibration how much one marking is equivalent to? Okay, just how we calculate. In the first case, one marking was equal to 2 degrees C. In the second case, one marking was equal to 1 degree C. And in the third case, one marking was equal to 0 0.5 degree C. Alright. Now coming to question number 7. Observe the part of the thermometer shown in figure 7.8. 
and answer the following question. What type of thermometer is this? So now you see it is starting from minus 10. So this cannot be a clinical thermometer. What kind of thermometer it is? It is a laboratory thermometer. All right. Next, what is the reading of the thermometer? What is the reading of the thermometer in case of a laboratory thermometer? Do you all know? Just uh, uh, re brush up what we learned. What is the reading of the thermometer? The thermometer reading is, if you see over here, so let us see the red, red mark and count. So this is 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. So the correct answer is 26 degree Celsius. All right. Now let's come to the next question. What is the smallest value that this temperature can measure? So the smallest value that this temperature can measure is minus 10 degree Celsius. All right. Now coming to our next question. Our next question is, a laboratory thermometer is not used to measure our body temperature. Give reason why we don't use a laboratory thermometer. Student, a laboratory thermometer is not used to measure our body temperature because it is designed to measure temperatures over broader range. Okay. See, it starts from minus 10 degrees Celsius. And if you see a proper laboratory temperature, it ends to 110 degrees Celsius. Okay. Also, to use a laboratory thermometer, you have to keep it in the upright position, which is not possible, which is inconvenient and potentially unsafe if we use to use it to measure our body temperature. All right. So, how do you write this answer? Why we don't use laboratory thermometer for measuring our body temperature? Let me write that for you. A laboratory thermometer, a laboratory thermometer has a wide range of around minus ten degree celsius to 110 degree celsius okay also to use it we have to place it in the upright position which is very inconvenient and not safe to measure human body temperature. All right, so I have written the answer for you so that you can copy it from here. Now, let us move on to our next question. Question number nine. In question number nine, what is given to you? Vaishnavi has not gone to school as she is ill. Her mother has kept a record of her temperature, body temperature for three days and it is shown in figure 7.4. Okay, so you can see the table with this is. Now, the questions are, what was Vaishnavi's highest recorded temperature? So, if you see, uh, you will see that the highest recorded temperature from the table is 40 degree Celsius. So, answer is 40 degree Celsius. Next, on which day and at what time was Vaishnavi's temp highest temperature recorded? So, it was recorded on day 1. At 7 p.m. Alright. 7 p.m. Day 1. Next. 
on which day did Vaishnavi's temperature return to normal? So what is normal body temperature? Normal body temperature is 37 degree C. So on which day the temperature returned normal or roughly around normal if you can see? So it is day 3. So answer will be day 3. So after this, our next question is question number 10. If you have to measure the temperature 22.5 degrees Celsius, which of the following three thermometers will you use? And you have to explain your answer. So if you see this one, each marking, if you see over here, is 1 degree Celsius because there is a total of 10 markings and there are 10 divisions and the interval is also 10. So 10 upon 10, that means 1 degree C for each marking. So if you measure... 20, 21, 22, 23. So from 22, it directly comes to 23. So if we have to mark 22.5 somewhere in the middle, which is quite difficult to note down. Okay. Now coming to B. If you see B, you see how many divisions are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That means for 10 divisions, for uh, 20 divisions, we have a marking of 10 degrees Celsius. Okay. So, we have 20 divisions for 10 degree Celsius. So 10 divided by 20, yani each marking is 0 0.5 degree C. That means here the smallest marking is of 0 0.5. That means we can take a measurement of 22.5 in this case. So the answer will be B. Okay, where will the marking be? This is 20, 21, 22. So 22.5. This will be 22.5 degree Celsius. All right, so the correct option is B. Now coming to number 11. The temperature shown by the thermometer in figure 7 point. So you have to find out the temperature shown. How will you find out the temperature shown? Method I have already told you. You have to count the number of divisions. And then you have to see how, how what is the interval for the degree Celsius. Like in this case, there is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 divisions. There are a total of 10 divisions. And the marking is from 25 to 30 that means the interval is 5 so in that way you first calculate how much each measures okay so if you see how much each measure if this is 25 this is 26 this is 27 this is 27.5 each one measures 0.5 how 10 10 divisions and interval is 5 so 0. 0.5 5. So each is each marking is 0 0.5 degree C. So if this is 25, this is 26, this is 27, this is 27.5. So the answer will be B 27.5 degree Celsius. Now number 12. A laboratory thermometer has 50 divisions between 0 to 100 degree C. Okay. What does each division of this thermometer measure. So what did I tell you? We will take the interval from 0 to 100. It is 100 degree Celsius and it has 50 divisions. So divided by the number of divisions. So what we come to? That means each division measure 2 degree Celsius. All right. Clear? Now draw the scale of a thermometer in which the smallest division reads 0 0.5 degree c you may draw only the portion between 10 to 20 degree c so that you can easily do we have already done something similar so you can draw this in case if you face problem just mention it in the comment section i will help you out okay or text me at my number eight triple four zero eight triple four one all right, and I will be helping you out with the solution. Komal tells you that she has a fever of 101 degrees. So Komal has a fever of 101 degrees. Does she mean it on Celsius scale or Fahrenheit scale? Obviously, if Celsius scale, 100 degrees C on Celsius scale is the boiling point, right? Boiling point of water. So we cannot have a fever of um, which is even more than the boiling point of water right so it has to be the fahrenheit scale okay normal body temperature on fahrenheit scale is 98.6 degree fahrenheit so 101 represents the fever on fahrenheit scale 
Is that clear? So that's all for today. In case of any other doubt or any other thing you want to do, understand, then we can, uh, you can put it in the comment section. If you want some extra questions for the chapter, please mention it, the, it in the comment section so that I can help you out. Thank you and take care.